Hi subscribers, Vic here from At Forever Scrapping. Thanks for joining me today for this 12 by 12 process video um, of a layout of a scrap lift that we're doing over in Lottie Loves Paper. I must add that this is an advert for Lottie Loves Paper because uh, I'm using the lovely Pink Fresh Noteworthy collection that I've been given in my latest design team kit. So over on the Lottie Loves Paper community Facebook group, we are every fortnight doing a retro scrap lift just for fun, just um, to try and give people a bit of inspiration. Um, the idea is that the design team have gone through their some of their first ever layouts and um, each of us has picked one that we quite like. And then our challenge is for you guys if you'd like to join in which we'd love and for us to try and update um, the scrap lift that's um, the scrapbook layout that's been selected so this is a scrap lift of a layout by die and um, it included banners up on the top right hand corner and um, I think it was a title and a bit of detail down on the left corner. So I've stayed pretty close to the original by doing my big flag banners up the top which I've just created myself cutting a triangle and then a v-shape out of the bottom and layered them up. So I thought the colours went really well with this photograph of Karis practicing her gymnastics on the beach and decided that would be my main focal point for the layout. So I used my Big Shot to also cut out some white clouds from some cardstock which I've added onto the layout. Just I've adding a couple on there. I purposely stayed away from that raspberry logo. paper <laughs> Just, um, um, this time. I didn't know how to I've use that every single that layout so, so far that I've done this with this collection. This is my idea so that I've tried to avoid clouds it. and make it a bit more whimsical. And, um, Instead, I try to stick to so sort of blues, of although there is a hint of pink here and there, but try to change my colour palette a little bit. So I've cut out that cut apart sheet and I've used that tucked behind some paper as my little journaling card. So that was the basis really of my layout that you can see here. It was just a case then of jazzing it up with some of the embellishments and ephemera from the collection. I saw that lovely um, circular yellow piece of ephemera um, which says the seeker of every day and then in the middle magic. So I thought seeing as I've got clouds on my layout it might be fun to make a sun. So that forms the centre of a sun that I create a bit later on. So now I've decided and that I'm happy with the placement of everything, I need to stick everything down. So just decided to add a little bit more texture to my layout by using my scissors to um, distress the edges of those tags. There are lots of cool gadgets on the market, um, distressing tools for you to do this, but I just use my scissors. I also decided that my photo needed to stand out a little bit more on my layout. So back that with some of the blue tartany paper from the collection and then went about sticking down everything some of which I've stuck on using um, just plain basic kids foam that's you know just to raise things up and add a little bit more dimension on my layout I also added some washi tape everyone's got loads of washi tape I'm sure in their collection and I'm guilty of that as well and um, it never really comes out very much so the idea was to have just a couple of strands of it but the pinky one that I put down um, decided it would 
sort of rip across as I was putting it down. So decided just to layer that up a bit more and actually it added a bit more texture to that layout as well. Okay, so now I'm just deciding where to place my sun and my clouds. Um, in the collection there were some really lovely buttons and this one was pink but it actually had like a picture of a yellow sun in the middle as well so I thought that worked really well. And everyone's got to have a rainbow on their collection as well so just sort of building it up really. Use the yellow um, crisscrossy tartany paper from the collection to create my sun rays. And then decided that I'd ink around my clouds. The first pink I used on the Distress Oxide wasn't quite the right colour for my layout, so I changed it to a darker pink. It just stopped the page from looking so flat, because it is quite a, a fresh looking page and clean looking page with quite a lot of white space, so I didn't want those clouds to get lost against that white background. So just um, sticking everything down and adding the finishing touches to my layout. I did add some stamping onto it just to try and link that top right and bottom left hand corner. I just felt there was a bit too much white space on the layout. Um, like I said, uh, this was for our retro scrap lift challenge on the Lottie Loves Paper community Facebook page. Please join in with us. We'd love it. It is just for fun. And it's, it's lovely to look back at old layouts and try and update them. Um, so we'd love it if you could join in. Um, if you do, please don't forget to tag us using the hashtag LLP the Retro Scraplift Challenge as we'd love to see your versions of it. And um, I'll pop the link in the bio for this video. So I'll leave you to watch the rest of the video and the stills at the end of the finished layout. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. This has been Vic for At Forever Scrapping and this is a 12 by 12 process video for Lottie Loves Paper. Thanks. Bye.